Well, my name's Jennifer, and we are here together on this Monday evening to take a 60-minute journey into power. And I acknowledge you for whatever you had to do in order to get here, because I know it doesn't happen by magic. You have to rearrange your life. Things have to happen. You have to postpone the snack, the late lunch, the whatever to get here. Thank you for that. I have just a couple of brief announcements about stuff that's going on at the studio in November. There's a special restoration class happening Sunday the 7th from 2 to 4 p.m. It's gonna involve a yoga flow, a nidra concert, tea and journaling, and you get a mug and tea selection, and that's with EB. That's gonna be a very special event. And then Sunday the 7th, there's a special, um, special limited series that's happening with Dev and Ra embodying your practice. Each week they're gonna focus on one of the yamas or niyamas and it includes a book, there'll be journaling, gatherings are happening Sunday, uh, starting the 7th, 5 to 6.30 p.m. It's gonna be rad. And then a transition tune-up with me and Natalie, tuning up your transitions from high plank to low plank, up dog to down dog, and making that more fluid. That is happening Saturday the 13th. It's free for members, $18 for anybody else that drops in. And that's the end of the announcements. And now we can get moving because I know that's why you came here. So let's begin, child's pose. Child's pose and spread your fingers out wide and feel your thumb, feel your pinky finger, and press your forehead down into the floor. Yeah, make that connection between your forehead and the floor, your fingers and your mat. And begin to breathe in and out of your nose, audible loud, ujjayi breathing. The victorious breath, the oceanic breath that calms your central nervous system and generates heat. Downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, send your hips up to the ceiling. Spread your fingers again. Root down through your first finger and your thumb knuckle, and breathe. Breathe so your neighbor can hear you in and out of your nose. Good, breathe in. Press the earth away from you. Send your hips really high up towards the ceiling, like exaggerated. Yes. Walk your feet to your hands at the top of your mat. Take ragdoll, clasp opposite elbows, drop your head. Open your eyes and look at the back edge of your mat. See what you see back there and shake your head around. Yes and no. Lift and spread your 10 toes and put them back down. Yeah, good. Getting into your feet, like you got out of your car, get into your feet. Extended mountain, reach up and look up. Bring your hands to heart center. Eyes out in front, see what you see. We'll open the container of this evening's class with the sound of three ohms. You can participate or just simply enjoy the sound as it reverberates through the room. Oh. Extended mountain, breathe in and reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Place your hands on your mat and come to high plank and pause right here in high plank with no expectation of being anywhere else. Bring a slight bend to your elbows. Get into the muscles of your arms, so good everyone. Breathe in, stay and breathe out. Inhale. Stay, exhale, inhale, lower halfway down, exhale. Untuck your toes, press the tops of your feet down to the floor. Yes, upward facing dog, press your chest towards the front of the room, arm bones back, downward facing dog, flip your feet, send your hips up and back. 
Good work. Everyone breathe in. Everyone breathe out. Bend your knees and look at your thumbs. Jump to your thumbs. Yes, Danielle. Halfway lift. So good, Jesse. Forward fold. Extended mountain. See the wall behind you. Up and back. Yes, Jenna. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Plant your hands and you flow from high push up to low push up. Upward facing dog. Untuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Hips up. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Look at the front edge of your mat. Jump there. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Extended mountain. Full. Huge breath in. Bow forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Plant your hands and flow. Exhale. Lower down. Inhale. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Bend your knees. Jump your feet to your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in, fold, breathe out, extended mountain, rise up, reach up, bow forward, exhale, halfway lift, hands on the earth, high push up, low push up, up dog, breathe in, down dog, breathe out, good work, fill up, empty out. Look forward, jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Extended mountain, see something new. Bow forward, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hands to the earth, high push up, low push up. Up dog, take that full breath in. Downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Again. Empty. Stay empty. Jump your feet to your hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Bring your big toes to touch and sit in a tiny little chair. Chair pose. Yeah, good. Set your eyes out in front of you. Reach your hands up towards where the wall meets the ceiling and spin your pinky fingers in towards one another. Now spread your fingers wide. Breathe in. Sit deeper, breathe out. Inhale, bow forward, exhale. Halfway lift, hands down. High push up, low push up. Upward facing dog, untuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Right foot to right thumb, warrior one. Step your right foot to your right thumb. Back foot plants. Back foot plants. Sit your hips low. Press your right knee towards your right pinky toe. Lower your pelvis two more inches. Breathe in, reach up, look up. Hands to the earth, high push up to low push up. Upward facing dog, flip your feet. Downward facing dog. Left foot to left thumb, warrior one. Left foot to left thumb, back foot plants. Back foot solid on the floor, on the earth. Back foot plants all the way. Yes, yeah, so good. Pelvis low. Left knee to left pinky toe. Lift your chest, lift your gaze. Hands down, high push up to low push up. Upward facing dog, tops of your feet on the earth. Downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Good. Breathe in. Empty out, look forward, jump your feet to your hands. Moving a little bit quicker, halfway lift, forward fold, one breath, chair pose, inhale, fold, exhale. Halfway lift, hands to the earth, high push up to low push up. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot to right thumb, warrior one, step down, rise up with your hands, up with your eyes, hands plant and you flow. Exhale, high push up, low push up, up dog, down dog, warrior one, left side, step your left foot forward, fingers reaching, hands down to your mat and you flow, high to low. Upward facing dog, 
downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, look forward, jump to the top of your mat, halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose, fold, halfway lift, hands down, flow, high push up, low push up, up dog, down dog, warrior one, right side, take warrior one on the right side, one breath, rise up, look up, Vinyasa in between, high push up, low push up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, warrior one, left side. Hands down, exhale, high to low, waking your body up. Mm -hmm. Lift your right leg and look back at your toes. Point your toes straight down towards the floor. Yeah, look at your toes, see them, oh, so good everyone. Bend your knees, stack your hips, and stay here. Stack your hips, right foot heading towards the door that you came through. Press down more through your right shoulder. Mmm, so good, Danielle. Mm -hmm. Yes, now come up onto the tippy toes of your left toe and flip your dog. Both feet come down to the floor, spin around. Yeah, set your eyes to your right thumb, one, Two, three, four, five. Side plank, right hand down. Spin around, right hand down, right foot down, side plank. Lift your top leg. Look at your left thumb. One, two, three, four, five. Downward facing dog, good work. Good work, lift your left leg. Dial your toes down, good. Bend your knees, stack your hips, and flip your dog. Press down through both of your feet, all of your feet. Look at your left thumb. One, two, three, four, five. Side plank, left hand down. Left foot down, lift up. Lift your right leg up. Look at your, look at your right thumb. Make sure it's still there. One, two, three, four, five, downward facing dog. Good work. Walk your feet halfway up your mat and take five frog hops, five donkey kicks, whatever you wanna call them, however they look like in your body tonight. Jump five times. One, two, three, four, five, downward facing dog. Good work. Good work. Bend your knees. Jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Lift your 10 toes. Lightly put them back down. Lift your two heels. Lightly put them back down. Hands to heart center, twist to the right. And when you make that connection, elbow to knee, sit your hips lower. Open your arms. One, two, hips low. Three, yes, Gemma. Four, five, forward fold. Ah, oh, release. Inhale, chair pose. Hands to center. Twist left, connect, and lower your hips. Hips low. Make something happen that wasn't gonna happen anyways. One, two, three, four, five, forward fold. You tried. Take your feet hips width distance apart. Grab your big toes with your first two fingers and bend your elbows a lot. Press your thighs into your chest. Yeah, make the connection, thighs to chest and look at the back edge of your mat, let your head go. It's not needed right here, it's not needed. Press your sit bones, your butt bones up towards the ceiling, look at the back edge of your mat. Mm -hmm. Release your big toes and slide your hands all the way underneath your feet. 
palms all the way underneath your feet so your toes are up by your wrist creases. And bend your knees as much as you need to to make that happen. Good. Press your toes into the palms of your hands and drop your head. Yes, let it go. Your head doesn't help you in this forward fold. Let it go. Release this pose and you'll take forearm plank or crow pose. If crow pose is not in your practice, come into forearm plank. And just be here. For 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You flow. High push up to low push up. Good work. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward for crescent lunge. Right foot forward, yeah, high back heel, high over the tippy toes. Like a little tiny Barbie foot at the back of your mat. Uh -huh. Hug skin to muscle to bone. Reach hands up towards the ceiling, pinky fingers spiraling in, like you're holding a beach ball between your hands. Pelvis low. And then lift the front of your pelvis, belly button into your spine. Oh, yes, good. Good. Hands to heart center, twist to the right. Again, connecting elbow to knee, elbow to thigh. Open your arms. One, two, three, four, five. Warrior two. Open up. And look down, front heel to back, arch alignment. Mm -hmm. Bending deep into your front thigh. Mm, press your right knee towards your right pinky toe. Yes. Right knee, press it towards your right pinky toe, the far corner of your mat. Shoulders down away from your ears. Good, Kayla. And sit deep enough into your right thigh that it's parallel with the earth. Parallel with the earth for just a moment. Come out. Yes, and go back. So good, everyone. Reverse your warrior. Go up and go back. Front thigh stays low. Right hand reaching for the back of the room. Extended side angle. Take your forearm, your right forearm to your thigh, to a block. Love a block and extended side angle. Take a block and set it on the outside of your right foot. Got three different heights to set it down to. Yeah, bend deep into your front thigh. Reach your left hand towards the ceiling. Back foot is flat on the floor. Yes. Press right knee to right pinky toe. And lower your pelvis. Yes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Plant your hands. Vinyasa. High to low. Breathe in. Breathe out. Crescent lunge, left foot forward. And stack your heel high up over your tippy toes. Bend deep, yes, into your front thigh. Press left knee towards left pinky toe. Lift the front of your pelvis. Yes. Hands to heart center. Twist to the left. Open your arms, reaching from fingertip to fingertip, pressing your left hamstring up towards the ceiling. Yes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again. Warrior two, open up. And again, front heel to back arch. Front thigh low, maybe parallel to the floor. Left knee towards left pinky toe. And now that you're here, go two inches deeper for just one breath. Yes. Reverse your warrior. Go up and go back. Low in your front thigh. Oh, yes. Extended side angle. Take the block to the inside or to the outside of your front shin, front ankle. 
And again, bend deep into your left knee. And press your left knee away. It wants to cave in towards the center of your mat. Press it away. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, exhale, breath. Hands flow, hands down. Exhale, high push up, low push up. Upward facing dog, chest presses forward, downward facing dog. Ah. 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 Bend your knees, look forward, jump to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Forward fold, extended mountain, inhale, 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 hands to heart center. Set your eyes out here, find one spot, and take eagle pose. Bring your right thigh up and over your left thigh, and you squeeze those two legs together. Take your right arm up and under your left arm, and squeeze, squeeze. Switch sides. Refocus your gaze. Reconnect to your breath. Squeeze into your spine line. Eyes out here. Eyes open. Good. Switch sides. Second set of eagle. Three more breaths. Two. Switch sides. And notice, can you hear your breathing? If you can't hear your breathing, breathe louder. Switch sides. Switch sides. Release, come to stand. Standing leg raise. Bring your right knee into your chest. You can grab your big toe or the pinky toe edge of your right foot, open out. Open your right leg out to the right, extend your left arm out to the left and look over and see your left thumb. One, two, three, four, five. Come to center, kick your foot forward, reach your hands up. Airplane, arms back by your sides, palms down, right foot extended, long foot flexed, and drop your right hip three inches. Yes. Hands to heart center, half moon, left hand down to the block. The block on the high setting is genius in half moon. And look back and see the tips of your right toes. Left hand down to the block, right hand to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. See the tips of your right toes, bring them into view. Aim them towards the side wall, out towards Florida Avenue. And lift your back foot higher. Good work, one, two, three, four, five. Release and switch sides. Yeah, get the block ready, half moon is coming, we will be there. Standing leg raise, left knee, left big toe, left pinky toe, open out, look at your right thumb. One, two, three, four, five, come back to center, kick forward, reach up.
airplane. Arms back, palms down. Dial your left toes towards the earth by dropping your left hip. Yes. Hands to heart center, half moon. Right hand down to the block. And catch your toes with your eyes. Look at your left toes, see them. And yeah, point all five of your left toes towards the door that you came through and lift your leg higher. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Release, come to stand. Good work. Dancer pose, right side. And I'll say before we go into dancer pose that I want the focus to be an open shoulder grip. So when you bring your right hand down by your side, keep your palm out. Thumb facing the back of the room, palm out as you grab the inside of your right foot. Palm out for open shoulder grip. Palm out towards Florida Avenue. Grab the, with your palm out. Yes, yes, yes. Now bring your right toes towards the ceiling. Kick your feet, foot towards the ceiling. Uh-huh, eyes out in front, good. Slight bend to your standing knee. And take your dancer so big that you fall out of it. So big that you fall right out of it. Good work, switch sides. Open shoulder grip, that's all I ask. Open shoulder grip, palm out, yes, good. And send your left toes towards the ceiling. Huge dancer. Until you fall out. Bigger, 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 until you fall out. I promise you, you will not face plant coming out of dancer. You will not, your body will not let you do that. Dancer, second set. Right hand, right foot. And you go. Find your edge where you fell out the last time. Can you linger there a little bit longer and find a new place to fall out from? I know you can. Fall out. Fall out. Yes. Switch sides. Switch sides. Each time you fall out of a pose, you learn something about where you are in space. Dancer, second set, left side. And the big word for that is proprioception. Big, fall out, big, big, big. Big, 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 bigger, 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 bigger. Bigger, 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 fall out. Yes, good work everyone. Make your way to the top of your mat and take tree pose. Taking your right foot to your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh, doesn't matter where. Eyes out here, leg into foot, foot into leg. So your foot is above or below your knee. Above or below your knee. Below, yes. Take care of your knees. Reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Eyes out here, hands up, eyes up. And can you see the back wall? Can you go up and go back with your tree? Give it a try and close your eyes. One, two, three. Good work. Switch sides, tree pose. Ankle, calf, or inner thigh, equal pressure above or below the knee. Reach up, eyes up. Go up and go back. Lift your chest up and close your eyes. One, two, three. Good work. Top of your mat, extended mountain, new breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands on your mat and you flow. Up dog, pull your arm bones back. Downward facing dog, hips up and back. Good. 
Step your right foot forward for triangle. Back foot is parallel with the back edge of your mat and take a block to the outside of your right shin, especially if you never do that, especially if you never do that. Bring your right fingertips to the block. You've got three different settings. Left fingers reach for the ceiling. Tiny bend in both knees. Tiny bend in both knees. Send your right buttock in and under towards your left inner thigh. And recommit to the tiny bend in your knees. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, come up to standing. Point all of your toes to the left side of your mat and take your feet out wide. Tiny bend to your knees, fold forward. Walk your fingertips back in line with your toes and turn your hands around and crawl. Crawl your hands towards that door that you'd never come through. Yes. Breathe in and breathe out. Can you hear your breath? If you cannot hear your breath, breathe louder. Good. Come up to standing. Pyramid pose, right toes face forward, left foot halfway up your mat, left foot wide. Left foot is wide, yes, giving your hips space more wide. Yeah, more wide. Like hips are facing the front of the, yes. Feet wide, so feet wide from left to right. Bring your left, you get left foot up halfway on your mat. More, yeah, more, good. Reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Dig your heels down, tiny bend in your knees, fold over your front thigh. Dig your heels down and look at your left big toe. Breathe in and breathe out. Take your left hand to a block. Any of the three settings, left hand to a block. Mm -hmm. Keep your heels digging down. Reach your right hand towards the ceiling. Twisting triangle. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, inhale. Exhale. Good breath, breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, everyone fill up. Hands to the earth, high push up to low push up. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left foot forward, triangle left side. Set up the block. Little bend in your knees. Stack your shoulders. Spread your fingers. Lengthen your spine. Left hand to the block. Put more length in your spine. Left buttock in and under to right inner thigh. Tiny bend in your knees. Good work, everyone. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again. Rise up to standing. Point all of your toes to the long side of your mat, and take goddess squat. So take your toes out to 10 and two and stack your knees over your ankles. Mm -hmm. A deep squat, pressing your knees towards your back body to open up and stack your shoulders over your hips. Yeah, lengthen your spine, yes. You can cactus your arms, or you can keep your hands on your thighs, your choice, your choice. Lift both of your heels one inch. And then pulse up and down five times. One, two, three, four, five. Heels down, reach up. Interlace your hands at the small of your back. Point your toes in towards one another a little bit. Bow forward. Bend your elbows, drop your head, bend your knees. Good, see what you see. Shake your head around. Keep breathing loud and deep. Rise up to standing. Pyramid pose, left side. Left toes forward. 
right foot wide, fold, and look at your right toe. Good. Right hand to a block, twisting triangle. Now create length from your tailbone to the top of your brain bone. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more times. Hands to the earth, vinyasa. Using your breath to connect from pose to pose. Downward facing dog. High push up, low push up, high push up, low, high, low, high, low, high, low. Release, put one ear on the earth, one ear on your mat, arms back by your sides, palms down. Mm -hmm. Feel your heartbeat in your ear, in your nose, maybe in your cheek. Press your hips into the floor, locust pose, rise up for 10. Lift your hands, your heart, your feet, rise up and look at the front edge of your mat. One, two, three, four, five, flex your feet, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, lower down. Good work, put your other ear on the floor, on your mat. Locust pose, rise up. For 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, release. Floor bow, bend your knees, grab one foot if you're doing half floor blow, both feet if you're doing both footed floor bow, and kick your feet into your hands and rise up. Kick your feet into your hands, rise up. And pull on your feet with your hands. Flex your feet. Flex your feet a lot for five. One, two, three, four, five. Release your grips, sway your feet from side to side. And then take floor bow again. And maybe this time, if you like to take your floor bow all the way to the side, do that. If you've never tried that, try that. Rise up and get all the way over onto your right-hand side. Maybe you knock over your water bottle. Yeah, all the way over onto your right-hand side. It's a huge shoulder stretch. I love this. Come back to center. Get the other side, all the way over to the other side. All the way over. Oh, come back to center. And release. Good work. Good work. Place your hands on your mat so that your thumbs are back by your bottom ribs. And then take your pinky fingers out to the edges of your mat. Pinky fingers like off the edges of your mat. And press the tops of your feet into the floor so much that you lift your thighs and you lift your knees. Press the earth away from you, upward facing dog. Straighten your arms, slight bend to your elbows, pull your arm bones back. For three, one, two, three. Downward facing dog, good work everyone, good work. Come down to your knees and take camel pose. As you bring your shins to the floor, your toes are tucked or untucked, hands to the small of your back, send your eyes up, your chest up. Lift, lift your chest, lift your gaze. One, two, three, four, five. Come out of camel, sit on your heels. And then you go again, camel, second set. Come out of camel slow, sit on your heels. And then make your way onto your back for bridge pose. 
So lie on your back with your knees bent. Heels close enough that you can touch them with your middle fingers. And dig your heels down, hips to the ceiling. Hips to the ceiling. Maybe you stay here, you interlace your hands underneath the small of your back, walk your shoulder blades together underneath you, squeezing the tips of your scapula together as your hips go up. One, two, three, four, five. Lower down. We have six more bridges or wheels. Bridge, you were just there, go there. If full wheel is in your practice, go there. Choose number one of six. One, two, three, four, five. Number two, one, two, three, four, Five. Number three, one, two, three, four, five. Number four, one, two, three, four, five. Number five, one, two, three, four, five. Last one, one, two, three, four, five. Lower all the way down and take reclined butterfly pose. Bottoms of your feet touching. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Yes. Happy baby. Bend your knees. Grab the pinky toe edges of your feet or the backs of your thighs and press your tailbone down. Press the back of your head down. Good work. Send both feet straight up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna pulse, let go of your feet, press them towards the ceiling with your feet flexed. Or time for some ab work, time for some core work. Reach your fingers towards your toes, pulse up and down towards your toes for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Lower your right leg to a hover. Right leg out low and hovering. Pull your toes towards your face. Yes, reach towards your left foot. 10, one, two, Sarah's looking at me, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Put your hands under your tailbone. 30, 60 legs. Legs straight up towards the ceiling. Toes pulling back towards your face. Feet are flexed and alive. So good. Everyone lower your feet 30 degrees. Yeah, keep pulling your toes towards your face. 60 degrees, lower your feet a little bit more. Bring your feet out to a hover. Hover your feet off the floor. Look up at your 10 toes. See are your feet hovering? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Legs up, lower down 30, 60. Hover your feet, look at your toes, take your feet together and apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head down, legs up, lower 30, 60. Hover your feet, look at your beautiful feet, pull your toes towards your face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head down, legs up, lower 30. 60, hover, do something wonderful with your feet. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze your knees into your chest. 20 yogi bicycles. Interlace your hands behind your head and do the abdominal twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Squeeze your knees, rock and roll up and down to high boat. One high boat. One high boat. Yes. 
one low boat and release. Make your way to half pigeon. You can take reclined half pigeon or traditional half pigeon on your front. If you're taking traditional half pigeon, come through downward facing dog. Take your right knee to your right wrist for traditional half pigeon. Reclined half pigeon, flex your feet a lot. Yes, so good, Kayla. Traditional half pigeon, press your feet into the floor. And lower, lower down over your front shin, pressing your feet into the floor. Mm -hmm. Breathe in and out of your nose. Good work, y'all. Good work. Switch sides. Feet press down. Double pigeon. You'll come to a seat and you'll stack your shins on top of one another so that your top ankle is on the outside of your bottom knee. So your knees are closer together, shins are stacked. You feel this right here in your hip flexors. Seated figure four is also an option. You can take your right shin over your left thigh, lift your chest. You feel it in the same place. Flex your feet. Three more breaths. And switch the stack of your shins, switch the stack of your legs. Flex your feet in seated figure four. Flex your feet in double pigeon. Frog pose. You can fold over the edges of your mat to bring your knees out wide on your mat and everybody face towards Florida Avenue and make right angles with your thigh bones, your shin bones, and your foot bones. So your feet are flexed a lot. You can take the block and put a block underneath your chest or underneath your forehead. You can bring your forehead to the floor or your fists. And flex your feet and do whatever you need to do to make this frog pose. Soft. Easeful. Slowly come out of frog and make your way to a seated single leg extension, sitting on your mat, one foot to your inner thigh, and fold over that extended leg. Either one, we'll get both sides. Mm. Switch sides. Seated forward fold, kick out both of your legs, reach for both of your feet.
reverse tabletop, hands back by your hips, feet into the floor, reverse plank if you want for more of a challenge. That's your jam. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. Heck yes. Come down to the earth. Fish pose. Hands underneath your sit bones. Bring your forearms down to the floor. Hands under your sit bones, forearms down. Chest lifts, eyes at the back wall. Extend your legs out long and spread all 10 of your toes. And slowly come up and out of fish pose. Inversion practice. Simple inversion is to lie on your back, put a block underneath your tailbone, and send your legs up to the ceiling. Simple inversion. If you have an inversion practice that you prefer, headstand, shoulder stand, do that. Simple inversion, it's, it does all the same thing. Getting your hips up above your heart, your feet up in the air. Put a block under your tailbone, yeah, and just let your feet go towards the ceiling. Good. If you're in shoulder stand and you'd like to take plow, take your toes to the floor up above your head. If you'd like to take ear pinning pose, bend your knees by your ears. And if you're in shoulder stand, keep your eyes on one spot on the ceiling. Do not look around. Take the next three breaths to slowly come down out of your inversion, removing blocks. Slowly keep your eyes on that one spot, shoulder standers, one spot. Remove the block out of the way. Take a huge full body stretch. Lie on your back and get big from fingers to toes. Big from fingers to toes. Hug your right knee into your chest. Take a supine twist. Right knee goes across your body. Send your arm, right arm out. Look at your right thumb. And switch sides. And come back to center, take reclined butterfly pose one more time. Make your way to your final resting pose, taking your legs out long, feet off the edges of your mat, arms down by your sides, palms up to receive, receive all the good juju from your practice. And I will mask up and I'll come around and I'll place a cool lavender towel on your forehead. If this is something that you do not want, please place one hand on your belly so that I can see. And I'll honor that. Thank you.
begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes ever so slowly. Roll to your favorite side and rest your head on your bottom arm. Let's pause here. Acknowledge yourself for coming here, for doing this work, for practicing this practice, for making time for yourself. And slowly, 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 press yourself up to a simple seat at the top of your mat. Take your hands to heart center and press your thumbs into your chest and sit tall. And we'll seal this evening's practice with the sound of three ohms. knuckles to your forehead center and together we bow thank you Kayla Sarah Jesse Felicia Jenna Gemma I think it's an N and Danielle I'll get it right next time give yourself a big round of applause for the good work that you did for coming here for sweating for moving for breathing for getting into your hands and your feet and out of your car. Congratulations.